Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk new celebrities and hot topics. I'm excited because I just got done watching Portia's Family Matters and Hunty. I don't know what the hell is going on, but I know that uh, Portia started off on Real Housewives of Atlanta season six, I believe, where she dragged Kenya off the couch. Um, I believe Cynthia Bailey had to karate chop her ass on that boat. I believe she had to see a friend out, Jamie, okay, during the Christmas party at the alleyway. And now we see that Portia is swinging on her baby's father, Mr. Dennis McKinley. What the hell is going on? Portia, wrong road, sis. Okay, wrong road. Not you yet again at the age of 40 years damn old, okay? At your big ass age, swinging, not on just a random person, not on, you know, just a cast member, but the father of your child. You brought all of these people together to try to create this healthy, um, dream-like co-parenting situation, okay? Very weird to me. It just seems like you wanted everybody to come, you know, together to start the drama for the TV show, which is exactly what the hell you did. It was very successful as the executive producer. Kudos. But just as a person, okay, without the cameras, without all of this extra shit, it just seems extremely questionable. You brought all of these people together to heal, to be on a spiritual journey, and you gonna sit up here and swing at the baby fathers with the mama right there talking about some he needs to get rid of his, uh, you know, himself and the sluts and his mama. They need to go. Mm. I'm tired. Okay, Portia, I am tired. Now, Portia, you are dead ass wrong. It's no way to slice it and dice it. I've done the math. It's not mathing. You are dead ass wrong. But from an entertainment aspect, it is brilliant. Okay, genius. The best Bravo spinoff there ever was. And I don't care. You can argue with your mamas. Uh, but no, let's go ahead and get into last night's episode. I'm not going to go into great details. I'm just going to go over the highlights, the things that I thought were most important. So first things first, Lauren pulls Portia to the side um, at a dinner and basically says that Dennis is not coming because he is hanging out with his piece, his work, a.k.a. another woman who, according to Londi, she's been, you know, out and about at the resort with her thong going. Okay, her thong thonging. And she also exclaimed that, you know, she saw the woman doing hookah and uh, she was sucking down the hookah like Superhead. Okay, so thank you, Londi, for that tea. Uh, but when Portia gets this information, she kind of acts like she doesn't care. She acts like, you know, she's over Dennis. You know, she's acting like this information really doesn't do anything for her. But besides focusing on the subject at hand, Portia deflects to Mama Gina lying on Mama Diane, talking about some Portia cheated, when we all know that that is not the case. Um, and she also deflects to Dennis's intentions, okay? Remember the first night when Portia was like, is the real reason why you came here was so that you can get your robe back? Okay, what are your intentions, Dennis? They're not pure, is what Portia was saying. And my whole thing was, Portia, it does not matter what Dennis's intentions are. You need to be focused on your intentions, okay? You need to be focused on your intentions, which leads us into the next scene. The next morning, um, you know, Lauren and Dom and Londi, they have a yoga session. Dennis ends up showing up and, you know, they do their yoga poses and whatnot. And they're doing like this one, you know, sexual pose. It looked like a doggy style or something like that. And Dennis casually says, you know, this kind of reminds me of Portia and the positions that she be doing because y'all know that Portia is lazy in bed. <laughs> Dennis, really? Okay, did you really go on national television talking about, uh, you know, your baby mom's is lazy in bed? Okay, talking about Simon's woman like that. So then, you guys, after yoga, Dennis pulls everybody to the side and basically says, you know, he kind of feels as though Portia brought everybody together to, you know, make sure that this is a beautiful blended family. But he believes that Portia is not working on herself. Lauren agrees with those sentiments. Um, and then Lauren then in another scene has a conversation with uh, Portia by basically saying, girl, how you going to bring everybody to this trip for spiritual healing and you're not doing the work? OK, sis, Portia, you brought everybody to Mexico. 
And yet you have been at the epicenter of all of the drama, you and Dennis. Okay, y'all are both toxic if you ask me. But you have been the most toxic person here. And that kind of doesn't make any sense. How are you preaching and advocating for healing and love and peace and harmony? But yet all you've done is start all the drama, sis. Okay, so Lauren just basically had a heart to heart and was like, girl, you need to stop worrying about everybody else. You need to stop, you know, worrying about Dennis and his mom. You need to stop worrying about Storm and Londi and the rest of the girls and start worrying about how Portia is showing up. You need to be worried about how Portia is showing up and trying to be a better person, not pointing fingers, blaming everybody else, but you. Okay, Porsche, we can talk about you too. Girl, get it together. Okay, Portia has a lot of healing to do. Out of everybody, I'm most concerned about her and Arlene, okay? And her catching the Holy Ghost, talking about some. She hasn't hugged her child in 20 years. Like, what the hell is going on? Anyways, moving right along. Um, Dennis, I believe, Londi, Lauren, and Dom, they go on a tequila tasting, which I thought this was a really interesting scene because we got a boatload of tea. Now, you're going to have to watch the episode if you want to know about everything that they was talking about. But one of the things that kind of drives the fight at the end of tonight's episode was the fact that it was Dom who caught the woman that Dennis cheated on working in Dennis's crew lounge after the fact. OK, so after Portia found out that Dennis cheated, I guess they came together and decided that they wanted to work things out. Uh, they were cool. They were on the pathway of becoming husband and wife. And then Dom drops the bomb that the girl Dennis cheated on Portia with is working at crew. Dennis's whole thing is, well, I don't hire anybody at my restaurants. Um, I don't do the hiring. I have over 600 employees. So that was an oversight. Dom's whole thing is, you know, I feel as though you've been kind of upset with me for the past couple of years because I kind of blew up your spot. But at the end of the day, I wouldn't have had to snitch if you wouldn't have been effing another woman, okay? And I wholeheartedly agree with Dom. You're mad at Dom for snitching, but yet you are the cheater. And on the flip side of things, I also kind of feel like how Mama Gina feels in the sense of why do we keep bringing up the fact that Dennis cheated? Like, yes, we know. And at this point, I'm just starting to think that y'all just want to embarrass Dennis based off of the fact that we are in front of these TV cameras right now and everybody needs a storyline. I mean, it is what it is and it's going to be what it's going to be. So moving right along. Um, so they have this conversation about Dom being a snitch. Uh, Dennis was truly bothered at the situation and he says that Dom, uh, you know, needs to catch this fade, which he's basically saying he wants to fight the boy. Um, and it was a lot of underlying homophobic um, energy in my opinion, from Dennis to Dom, especially when um, Dennis was like, oh, Dom wants to start crying, like basically taunting him for being emotional as a man. And I just did not like that. OK, but that's a different conversation for a different day. If y'all saw the episode, let me know how y'all felt about it. Um, I definitely got a weird energy behind that. It was definitely giving toxic masculinity, but that's besides the point. So yes, at the tequila tasting, they talk about the Dom situation. We also get this uh, piece of pertinent information that Dennis I uh, actually had Londi as an assistant, I believe. I think we're going to get more on this story a little bit later. But it turns to find out that Londi was fired by Dennis because Portia told Dennis to fire Londi. <laughs> Wrong rose, sis. Okay, now I don't really have a lot to say about the situation because we don't have details. But I have a feeling that we are going to get the details in the upcoming future episodes. Moving along, last but not least, we have... The family dinner, which is the final scene in the episode. And of course, they bring up the tequila tasting where the story about Dom snitching gets exposed. Mama Gina then says, I mean, well, you know, this is old news. Get over it. Why are we still talking about Dennis being a cheater? And again, I'm on team Gina. Why are we still bringing this up? Like, yes, it is juicy. Yes, we want to know because it's TV. But at the same damn time, in real life, it's just kind of like, why are we beating this dead horse? 
So I totally understand where Mama Gina is coming from. But then Storm interjects herself and says, well, your son is the one that's still talking about it. Ooh. Now, Storm, I think you should be more concerned about your mother and her antics than Portia and her men. Okay, I think you should be more concerned about your mother catching the Holy Ghost than Simon and Dennis. I think, Storm, you should be worried about, you know, giving your mama a hug than about what Dennis got going on with his works. Okay, I'm going to need Storm to bring it all the way down on this little TV show because at a certain point, I don't agree with the way how, you know, Dennis talks to the woman. But stay in a child place, okay, sis? Yes, you are technically grown, but sis, stay in a child place. The 40-year-olds are having a conversation, and you as a 23-year-old need to see your way out, eat your shrimps, drink your little margaritas, and go home, okay? Uh, with that being said, Storm tells Mama Gina, well, it's your son uh, that's still talking. Then you have Dennis interjecting, talking about some shut the F up again for the second time, which I do not agree with. Dennis should not be talking to Portia's cousin in that manner. My personal opinion, everybody's wrong on every side. I don't care. Um, and then that's when Portia gets up and she tells the producers that Dennis, his mama, and his sluts need to get the hell on out of Mexico. And they start to rustling and tussling. And then we get this scene where Portia swings on Dennis. And y'all already know that I feel as though Portia is dead ass wrong because not only... Do I think she instigates everything? Not only do I think she is the epicenter of all the drama, but she is the epicenter of a lot of violence. And I'm just kind of confused as why she felt the need to swing on the father of her child. That really did not make any sense. So y'all got to let me know how y'all feel about that situation. Uh, it is a whole hot ass mess. We'll talk more tomorrow because uh, we have more Porsche news. We got to talk about housewives. We got to talk about Monique Samuels and love and marriage. There's so much to talk about, and I'm excited. So let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys, and don't forget to create a great day.